17 people die waiting for a life-saving organ transplant, but something new is now being considered in several states, including Ohio, and it could turn this trend around. It's a controversial method of organ revival. Medical reporter Liz Bonus shares why it's ignited a dying debate. Hey there, hello to you. Transplant surgeons in several hospitals are now part of clinical trials to see if we can boost the number of usable organs through what's called donation after cardiac death. It has triggered an ethical debate about life and death because it allows surgeons to retrieve organs when the body has no chance of survival, but brain death has not officially been declared. Mommy, love you. For those such as Kiara Hodge, it could be life-saving. She's been waiting months for a double organ transplant. I always wanted to be a mother. God got the final say. After the birth of her daughter, Cadence, who's now two, Kiara's heart and kidneys went into complete failure. They gave me less than two years if I had to start dialysis. Kiara is just one of the now more than 100,000 men, women, and children in the U.S. waiting for an organ donor. Most of those organs will come from people who choose to donate organs after brain death has already occurred, say after a sudden accident. It's a gift of life from the families who have undergone tragedy. But transplant surgeons at Ohio's Christ Hospital say this newer method could add hundreds more organs to the growing list of those in need. It could potentially double or even more. It, it could be really huge. Ohio's Life Center Organ Donor Network has formed a committee to consider it. Anything that we can do to, um, again, make more organs available for those people on the wait list, that's what we're here to do. Here's how it works. Rather than the traditional organ retrieval, where a patient is declared brain dead and warm working organs are retrieved before life support is turned off, donation after cardiac death turns life support off first. Surgeons then wait about 30 minutes for the heart to stop beating, and the patient is declared dead. They then clamp off the brain and restart the heart to remove the warm working organs. And what we found is when we put the heart on the perfusing machine and it's beating, we can measure if it's good enough to give to a human. And that the results with those hearts are at least as good, if not better, with the hearts from brain dead donors. For some, however, this partial resurrection raises ethical questions about life and death. Dr. Dennis Sullivan is a former professor of ethics and pharmacy at Cedarville University. You actually make an incision in the thorax and clamp the vessels that would go to the brain. This is disturbing for people because it seems like you're trying to resuscitate the patient. The Life Center team says, however, that's not true. They've already been declared dead, so this is not bringing somebody back to life. This is bringing their organs back to life. Life Center says patients also need to know there's an option for organ donation when there's no chance a loved one not yet brain dead will survive. This is not occurring with patients who have a survivable injury. All this is one more reason, Kiara Hodge says, to make a decision about organ donation now in the event of your death. This is my miracle baby. I didn't think I could have kids ever, so she's definitely my miracle baby. <laughs> you see, that decision might be the miracle this baby needs to keep her mother alive. To become an organ donor, you can go online and register, or you can sign up when you renew your driver's license. Be sure to tell your family your wishes. I'm medical.